Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC even after we have completed the main story, of course. Because uh, we still have a lot of side quests to do. And today we're going to start off with goodness gracious Great Balls of Granite, of course. Uh, referencing the Great Balls of Fire. And uh, we need to talk to an art curator. I uh, just checked out the notice boards. There were a lot of quests on there and this is one of them. So I think we passed uh, alongside this place a few times and heard this uh, a few times during our normal playthrough. So let's see what this guy has uh, on offer. Please disperse. The exhibition is closed. Okay, and why is it closed, Mr. Art Curator? Looks like a lot of green statues. What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please! I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. But I think he now realizes that's a witcher, no? Oh, wait! Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? So the notice just mentioned that he needed someone with, uh, well, an expert on the supernatural and that, well, I think we fit that description quite nicely, right? So, uh, what's this about? Just tell me. The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. I thought you couldn't say more. Let's go for it, I suppose. Oh, that's a bigger Here version of that uh, statuette. Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry. A giant nice of ass. Lovers, A poking, puncturing swordsman. And atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's wrong with it. How should I put this? Oh. It's lost its <laughs> Okay Somebody then. Stole the That's interesting. Of a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Certified and authenticated great balls of granite. They grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket. It is oh god, us. seriously? You must retrieve those stones. Okay then. Um Nice ass by the way. So there's uh, some superb camera work going on here. Reginald Dobry, tell me what you know. Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Did he do it naked? Already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. Yeah, because he, he has his pants down. Of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Okay then, any suspects? Got any suspects? Any ball lovers? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Well, if it would work, then yeah. But does it work? Those are stone Viagra balls then. Okay then. When did they disappear? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. <laughs> oh man, this is a... A very interesting side quest, I must say. Need to look around, yes indeed. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Because of some stone balls. Don't worry, Reginald, don't worry. You shall be whole again soon. Okay, then, that's... A bit weird. Uh, so I can check out the statue, but it seems to be there's a red spot here on the floor, but I can't seem to interact with it. But I saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I call this. <laughs> oh, Gerald, you funny man. 
Investigate the crowd. Ah, there we go. Now we can check out the spot. I saw that with my own eyes. Okay, then. Did someone cut himself while uh, taking off poor Reginald's balls? Um, okay, then. Anything else? Somebody dropped the saw or something? Oh, there we go. There's something here. Diamond saw blade. Perpetrator's tool. Okay. Well, that's something at least. Oh, and there's something stuck in this thing as well. Cold fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. Okay, we go scent hunting again. Oh shit, yeah. During the day, we've had this before. During the day, it's really hard to follow a scent trail. Because you can't see it all that well. Especially in the son of Beauclair. Oh, god damn it. Where is it going? Is it going? Yeah, okay, it's going this way. I'm gonna have to try and put it against that dark wall because I'm not really seeing it. Okay, so we followed it through a door. It seems like an alchemist's. By the icon, judging by the icon. Or am I wrong? Yeah, here. Here. What? What's this? Or am I... Or is it just going past the building? Oh, it's never mind. It's going past the building. Scent leads to this door. Oh! So now we got a door. Enter the house. There seems to be noise down here. Open up! I think I just realized what the noise was. <laughs> yep. I think we're gonna... Yeah, there we go. They were having a... Oh, sorry to interrupt, I guess. This, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Psst! Hughes! That's not him! Hi there. I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> That's not my husband. Yes, indeed. I'm not her husband. Not, not your husband? Yeah, so you don't need to apologize for what and you were why doing. Why are you in my home? Out! Now! Or I'll summon the guards! Um, just want to talk. Calm down. About the balls you stole? I, uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. And we're zooming to the mm, woman. I, I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. Um, a hero, you say? We're gonna just play along. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. I... Uh, I can explain everything. Um, Great balls of granite. Linda, I know you're in there. You and that fancy pants of yours. Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Um... Got you, you rogue. Prepare for a shellacking skeleton. What the love's this? Um, Linda, one I could forgive, you, <laughs> but two at one time. Okay, Wait, that's that's interesting. <laughs> Take me for a fool. I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond. Dude, I have clothes on. Seriously, the other guy is in his underwear. I'm in full body armor. Go home. <sighs> Got no time for this. Go home. Y yes. That'll be best. I, I'm done here. Bye. Goodbye. See you later. Have fun at home. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Now give me those testicles back, mm -hmm. please. So, time to talk. It's even annoying to say that. Rosalinda, my dove. Please allow us a moment. How did you even get in a relationship right. with her? I admit I stole the stones. I mean, aside I from your virility. Believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and I were three times and counting. 
three times. Impressive. Yes, indeed. Isn't it? At my age, that's more than the entire lost decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Yeah, come on. Listen, perhaps give me the stones. Strike a deal. Hmm? What, just for your virility? I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... They've made me young again. I wonder how long the effect works, because if you're willing to pay me, why aren't you not willing to pay the man that owns the statue just to go touch them once in a while? Um, willing to lend them to you? What's the difference? Um, hmm. What's this? Perhaps I... I could lend them to you for one more day. What would you say to that? A day is three more rumps at the least. You for deal, sir. Okay, then. Did I get any money for that? Probably not, I suppose. Okay. That was interesting. Did that conclude? Yeah, wait one day. Okay, I'm gonna do that immediately so we uh, can see the results afterwards. Well, would you look at that? I actually had a crash there. Um, we're still outside the house. You can still hear those groaning noises but okay i'm gonna try to wait one more hour then because i think i waited an entire day but there we go return to hughes uh well let's see is he still making noise actually i don't hear her anymore so let's open up hello hughes are you gonna be mad at me for taking the balls away i'm back from outer space Wake her. She want another go. Wake who? Rosalinda? Uh, Louisa, her cousin. <coughs> she's she's voracious. Got an inexhaustible appetite. But I'm tapped out. Oh, poor man, What's not it really. That the spirit is willing when the flesh is simply spent. My heart near leapt out of my chest last time. Maybe you should stop Here, for a second. You must take the testes and let Bioda grant you strength, as I dare say you will need it. Okay. Didn't even look like real, well, balls and shaft. Kind of looked like a leaf. But let's go talk to the art curator again, so see you guys there in a second. Dark secrets taste. So, back at the art gallery, we should be getting right up this, these stairs and talk to the art curator again and give him uh, Reginald's, poor Reginald's nice balls too. back over there. Hello, sir. Have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yes, yep, the complete set. Lepiotis, luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. Five experience and points. That was tomorrow for the grand bad. reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Okay then. Um, but that that does conclude the quest, I suppose. Yeah. Goodness gracious! Great balls of granite completed. Uh, well, that was a pretty short quest. I'm gonna start another one. Just hopefully just a short one, because otherwise I'm gonna have a bit of trouble ending this episode properly. And we're gonna go for the Wine Wars Belgard quest. Go to the place where the auction will be held. I'll uh, see you guys right over there because it seems to be quite a ways off in a, uh, in a minute. A Vermentino Vineyard. We seem to be uh, closing in on the location of the auction. Oh, look at that. What a pretty bridge. That's a nice bridge. There's some upper body moving over there as well. But hey, Ooh, there seems to be a lot of people here. The other new marker, there's also another notice board here, so I might as well check this out for further episodes. Um, posing depends on time and size of the painting. I want a painting of myself. Leroy is dead, has died, he has no family, he wants to be a hero, may he rest in peace. Okay, never mind. Seeks nanny, no. Diddle their own mums, an invitation from Starling's Dragon. Let's take that. Okay. I think uh, that's it. Yeah, okay. That's everything there is on the notice board. No new comes. quests. Well, we do have another location, buddy. 
for four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the Treasury. The Minister of the Treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. So, there's another vineyard for sale, apparently. Well, Happy, this is your fault! Mine? Your deranged woman! Okay, so these two guys are fighting Hark, over the vineyard. Beat known Matilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic! Okay, then. Doesn't look cursed that was to a me. bit harsh. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly, how would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? Um, know all about women, actually. That's not really true, is it? I think you could learn a few things about women, Geralt, but a witcher. A witcher. So no expert, I guess. But it doesn't take an expert to see when a woman's angry. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you speak the truth, brother. Wait, did you say witcher? Not seeking work, are you? Y you see, I wish to buy a vineyard. Belgard. I think Yet we gathered as much. Not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home at Coronata. What kind of troubles are we talking about? Uh, Please tell us. Botched in more ways than one. The herbarium infested with monsters. My steward gone missing with an entire transport of wine. And someone's abducted my herbalist. Jesus oh, Christ, that sounds like a vineyard. Few quests. If you ask me, it's that Matilda. Her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. S so will you help? Uh, don't work for free, though. Good look into it, but not for free. That goes without saying. What is your rate? Well, let's haggle now, shall we? Oh, wow. That's nice. Can I? I think I'm going to start at 900, maybe 850. I mean, he owns a vineyard, so let's start at 900. I mean, what's the harm? I could fill up my annoyance level halfway already, but... Could you not reduce it a shave? Okay, so that's not that bad. So I'm going to go for 850 then. That there sounds go. fair. There we go. Thank you. So, uh, sure, I'll help for 850 sure crowns. Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. You're my welcome. My lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. Hmm. Maybe we should talk to that Matilda woman over there as well. Oh, there she is. She seems interested. Yeah, indeed. There we go. Because the clerk mentioned she had troubles at her vineyard as well, so she might need our help as well. Psst. You're a witcher, yes? I heard you talking. Uh, to I think we just walked through that here. guy. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with a dashing gaze. The fair face. Then reveals a coal black heart. But that's all beside the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. Hmm. Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. My cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths. Oh no. And strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgart. Would you help me before you help Liam? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. Uh, is that true? Need to talk about my reward then. So, you're willing to pay more than he's offering. So, let's put that up a bit then. So let's see. Can we uh, go to 950 then? I sense we're close. Very close. Yeah, because we're standing like 
two feet apart from each other, but 900 then? Because otherwise you're not paying less than him, by the way. I sense we're close. Oh, come Very on. Close. So, you both pay the same. Maybe I can go for 855. Fine. Yeah. Settled. <laughs> oh, come on. So, yeah, I'll help you too. I can help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. So we have one to the east and one to the west, obviously. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell. So, this is interesting. So they both have three things they need handled. So that actually completes the Wine Wars Balgard quest. I'm gonna suppose it's gonna be Coronato or Vermentino that I can do. I think I'm gonna go to Coronato first. Uh, but that will have to wait until next episode because I'm feeling that this will be uh, pretty involved because they both have three tasks that need to be handled. So, uh, next time we're gonna do Wine Wars uh, Vermentino. So, uh, join me back then. So, with that said, Thank you guys normally for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because uh, I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. And we still have a lot of side quests to go. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.